This has been a really funny video to watch because it's kind of popped up on my algorithm randomly. So big up YouTube for actually having an algorithm that actually works because I feel like it's improved over the years or it's improved over the last few months. I'm now being recommended random videos from accounts that have like 22 subscribers and four views, which is incredible because it means now they are pushing organically content from small creators so that they can maybe sometime along the line become bigger so it's been great to see so this particular video came across my timeline and it's very you know poignant to kind of my point of view and how i approach life by the title alone and the title is i'm 25 and i have no friends i'm just going to play a little bit of the intro and then i'm going to give you a little bit of my opinion and why i think if you're 25 and you have no friends you should try it actively and with um, a lot of kind of force and a lot of due diligence and a lot of effort you should go out of your way to try and make friends because if you keep having this sort of mindset as the years progress it gets harder and harder and you might get to a point where you start regretting not making that extra bit of effort to make at least one good friend because i think life without any friends is really not a life worth living but let me play the clip here for you so it's your boy let him know so I'm back with another video as you can see by the title i which i think is pretty self-explanatory i am 25 and i have no friends now i think that um as we all age and we all grow up and we have different things going on in life i do feel that to some degree, it's natural for people to grow apart. But I don't really think it's normal for people to kind of feel like they don't have any friends at all. Personally, um, throughout my life up to this point, I, I've definitely had many, many friendships. Um, many people I've been cool with, close with, um, who we shared common interests and goals and different things like that. But uh, over the years, it just seems like they all kind of like gradually just like fell away from me or like we grew apart or whatever. But um, yeah, I definitely had a lot of people who I've been close with since like elementary school through middle school high school college um yeah so high school I anyway you get the point of what he's trying to say so what i'm trying to say when it comes to sort of stuff like i've had similar sort of feelings and i've spoken about my lack of friendships in general on this podcast many and many and many a times and I feel like I've got to a point where I'm kind of understanding and accepting of my personality and about how I kind of do things. But I also think when you're young, I think you should really try your best to at least have one or two good friends. I think it can be really difficult in the scenes or in the kind of neighborhoods or in the places that you kind of grow up because sometimes you're only limited to the people around you or if you don't have an ability to travel or to go to different places or to have different experiences it can also be hard to sort of expand your friendship group in that regard and even sometimes the internet as great as that is that isn't really going to replace actually having friends that you could actually meet up with in real life and you know whatever it may be and hang out and talk and share some good times with it can be really difficult to kind of get a handle on it but i think it's really imperative it's really important to try your best over the years especially while you're young especially while loads of different people are coming in and out of your life to maybe hold on to a couple and not let them go and what ends up happening i think when you're young is that you have a lot of people coming in and out of your life but i think it really is on you the onus is on you to make the effort to really build maintain cultivate and take that relationship to the next level so that that person knows hey no this person actually wants to be my friend friend they feel the love they feel you fucking reaching out they they feel appreciated they feel seen they feel acknowledged and most likely nine times out of ten they're gonna they're gonna reciprocate that and then you guys are gonna click and you're gonna take it to the next level what i've noticed with my life over the years is that usually i have all these people coming in and out of my life but i made no effort to really pull them closer to me and make the relationship take the relationship to the next level i never did that i just enjoyed the person at the 
place or at the time that I met them, that was all it was. And then I kind of just let it be. There was no follow up. There was no um, check in. There was no, you know, being there for that person when they needed. There was no attending of birthday dinners, birthday parties, weddings, um, baby showers, all this sort of stuff that usually allows you to put the building blocks in building blocks of a long-term relationship in place i never did so now uh, down the line in my life where i'm a little bit older and i'm now kind of going on my instagram and seeing all these people that i kind of knew who have now kind of moved on with their life and they're doing great things and they're maybe having weddings and not inviting me and stuff i can't take that too personally or i can't feel too bad about that because i've made no effort to cultivate that relationship along the along the way or along the years i did nothing to do so so i think it's important to try and do that when you're really young because when you're older it becomes harder to do that because you're kind of ingrained or you're sort of like you're stuck in a bit you're a bit you're a bit stuck in your ways and you also build up this little self-narrative this little self-talk thing that sort of like helps you justify your shitty actions and i think i have a tendency to do that i think the fact that i talk about oh i don't have many friends i keep myself to myself it's sort of like a way for me to sort of not deal with the fact that i don't really do well with commitment and to not deal with the fact that i don't like to be accountable to people and to deal with the fact that i don't like to get close to people because maybe i've been hurt in the past or maybe because I feel vulnerable and I don't want to feel vulnerable or because I don't like what it maybe does to my time or, or I'm maybe selfish with my time or selfish overall. Whatever it is, I'm sure that I kind of do that and I sort of like justify it by saying that I'm just on my own. I'm a lone soldier. I'm alone. I'm a lone wolf. When really and truly, I would obviously love more friends, but now I'm at a point in my life where I'm so used to the way that I act and most likely I'm not going to change because I've got other little things and you know stuff built in on me that kind of makes it hard to kind of break those things down and it just becomes a little bit harder when you're older so I think you should try and correct that when you're fucking young and it's really kind of a bit of a trip because I'm thinking back to a time when I was promoting parties when I was DJing a lot in trendier parts of East London, when I was working in that Nike store, when I was working at fucking Depop and shit, where legitimately I felt like I was in like the center of everything, right? Everyone was sort of coming to me for things because I had a cool job, because I was around cool people, because I had access to cool things, because I could give them something, because I was DJing, because I was throwing my own party, because I had all the drugs, because I was giving away all the free drink tokens, I was letting people in for free. All these things were fucking amazing, right? I was meeting them at the door to bring them a head to make them jump the queue all these things were great because i was that main person but then looking at it nowadays all of those people that were kind of in my orbit surrounding me sort of like sucking me off patting me on the back and help making me feel good are nowhere to be found but the funny thing about it they're still hanging around with the same people that were they were hanging around with back in the day some of them have moved on and actually decided to kind of you know wipe their hands away of that kind of lifestyle which has been amazing big up my guy tom courtney clack who i actually spoke to for a little bit on the dms um he completely you know moved away from that whole scene is living somewhere amazing surrounded by plants and trees and greenery and loads of cute little children and people with big happy smiles and whatever it maybe he's actually been a, a, a completely different life but there are other people who i know who are still part of the scene who i don't talk to at all have no communication with who are still hanging around those people that they hang around with because they've got a mutually beneficial relationship which i also feel like when i was younger i looked down upon i had a lot of bitterness towards because i knew how fake it was but i don't but now i'm older i don't think it's an issue I don't think it's an issue. I don't think it's a bad thing to only be surrounded by quote unquote cool friends because they make your life easier or because that they, you know, it's a mutual beneficial relationship. For instance, if you have a brand and you happen to know a very famous artist or if you're a photographer and you know a really hot girl, it's okay for you guys to be only friends because you're a famous photographer. And that model knows that if she takes pictures with you, you might help to boost her profile. You might help her get more jobs. You might get her more followers. And a photographer also knows hanging around with a beautiful girl that you're going to make him look like beautiful girls like to hang around with him. You're going to make him look professional. You're going to help. You're going to you're going to help him take good pictures and shit. That mutual beneficial relationship, which I used to look down upon and used to think, oh, that's fake because none of you guys know each other's mum's names and shit. That's not real friendship. I now look at it and think, no, that's actually what friendships are in a way. 
there is a form of friendship that does exist that's like that where you kind of are only friends with people because they are they live in your sort of world um they operate within your little um subculture and they are somewhat beneficial to the things that you do and you kind of scratch his back and they scratch your back there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever and i feel like when you're young you should try to cultivate those relationships and kind of double down and try to find those friends in that scene because once you get older it becomes really difficult to put your ego and your pride to one side and try to be that person's friend when you have nothing to offer them because they're going to make you know that you have nothing to offer they're going to remind you of how cool uncool you are so if you want to not give yourself a heart attack and if you don't want to make yourself feel angry and want to want to punch the wall i think it's important to try and suck up to people while you're young and you have no pride you have no achievements you have nothing to kind of you know uh, make you feel entitled or to make you feel like you deserve more or to make you feel like you don't you should you're, be you're better than groveling you should try to do that when you're young because i guarantee you, when you get older it becomes near on impossible to be the guy that's like hey man what are you guys doing over the weekend hey man do you mind putting me in the guest list hey man do you want to hang out after hey man what are you guys doing before the party hey man are you going to dinner can i come on it, it's nigh on impossible to for me to utter those words out of my lips to ask somebody for a discount to ask somebody for a hookup for this can i come to your event can you put like it's nearly impossible for those lips words to come out of my mouth and when they do come out of my mouth on some rare occasions i legitimately feel like fucking shit and most of it comes from the pride the entitlement the this you know me feeling like i deserve that and i should be having that whatever all those complexes that come into place but i feel like when you're younger you should try to make sure that you cultivate those friends in that scene where you can because when you get older it becomes incredibly hard and just in general apart from the scene apart from subcultures when you get older people just have different responsibilities i feel like the pandemic changed a lot of things it sort of changed the landscape of clubbing forever but it did change people's interests i feel like a lot of people who i may have bumped out bumped into in the fucking dance floor or on the dance floor sorry or at raves or just socially are now not around anymore and they've now matured they've now had babies they're now gotten married and stuff and there's a little bit of like lifestyle shaming going on in the scene where people kind of make you feel bad about the lifestyle choices you have because they decided to mature and in their eyes i understand it they see you and just see a fucking delinquent and in your eyes when you look at them you see an old fuddy daddy so you kind of you know you're always going to be at loggerheads so it's kind of at a place now where there is definitely a you know there's definitely a split in terms of some social groups where some people are like, hey, I've moved on with my life. I don't want to be surrounded with the people that I used to do Ket with. I want to have all these other new friends and other things happen also. But I also think along the lines, you have to kind of figure out a way to kind of deal with friendship breakups. I haven't really dealt with them that well um, over the years. I only, I haven't had many. I haven't had a couple over the last few years, which have been a bit difficult because if anything, I felt like these friendship breakups have been very clever on the other person's side because they essentially called it quits before you were able to kind of work through or talk about the issues that might have led to it getting called quits so they were able to kind of shut the door and that kind of leave you with your words in your mouth which is fucking frustrating there's nothing f worse than somebody not allowing you to kind of let no there's something there's nothing more frustrating than you not being able to say your piece and most times you don't most times people move away they get re into relationships they maybe pass away or just things just break down to a point where you don't really feel the need to kind of talk about it. But I feel like it's important too, because I feel like if you spent time with somebody as a friend, you probably owe them an explanation as to why you're not friends anymore. And you also owe them an opportunity to hear them, hear them out like actually speak not through a dm not through a text or whatever it may be so when some people kind of break up with you that way and sort of like dismiss you in that regard it maybe says more about them than it says about you maybe that's a coping mechanism but it's also just very hard to take and um that's the only opportunity or the only this the only time in my life i've legitimately wished death on somebody so you know Corey, i fucking hope you fucking fall off a bridge one day but that's the only times i legitimately wish death on somebody when somebody has friendship broken up with me because i feel like i haven't had the opportunity to kind of say my piece but i feel like a lot of that comes from the fact that i never had many friends to cut to, to begin with so when you do end up losing one or three friends and i left with two it kind of makes you feel like fuck and then you don't get opportunity you don't get opportunity to kind of say your piece you also feel terrible so 
to this guy and other young people out there if you do have the opportunity to make friends while you're young because you have many people coming in and out of your life you're moving around um you're able to do loads of fun things with lot of, not a lot of money n most of you guys don't have money haven't figured out life you know all that stuff is fun to discover all these things together at the young age i think it's important and imperative to hold on to a couple of people in that group and let them know hey i appreciate you i see you as a friend and kind of show up for them be there for them and just let them know that you want to take a relationship to the next level and actually make those people your friends it's super super important because somewhere along the line the older you get you're going to look back on it and regret that you didn't try and make that effort to take the relationship to the next level because i know i do because now that i'm older and i'm ingrained and i'm kind of set in my ways i don't i don't really go out of my way to try to make friends i keep my circle close i don't really like people like that um i have all my little kind of you know um baggages that i'm kind of carrying with myself i find it very difficult to kind of make that step and all of it has because of the decisions i made when i was young and i kind of regret a little bit of that when i did it so if you are out there and you're young and you're fucking you know don't have any friends and you feel like that's a cool thing to do to be on your own no you need friends you need to have at least one or two people you can depend on it doesn't mean you need people to kind of go on holiday with or whatever it may be you can still do things on your own if you need to be but having people that you can talk to or that you know that fucking know you know you is really fucking important doesn't matter if you meet them at work if you meet them at college if you meet them playing football if you meet them at a fucking social group at church whoever wherever you meet these people hold on tight to them because when you get older and life does get in the way it can be very very difficult to make any friends let alone keep a hold of the ones you actually have so don't take it for granted